Richard, the average Japanese farmer is 65 years old. How does that impact their ability to recover in the wake of this disaster? Well, it's not just that the farmers themselves are elderly. The entire community in which they live has an extraordinarily large uh, proportion of uh, the population over 65. In the most affected areas of Japan, most affected by the tsunami, some of the villages have a third or even half uh, of, of the population, 65 and over. Obviously, uh, it's harder to re rebuild when you're elderly. And it's not just a question of, 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 of physical stamina and capacity. It's that you have uh, uh, a shorter time horizon. You have less life remaining. It's harder to make the investments because it's harder to, to recoup uh, the money. So that's, that's a big problem. But even beyond that, one has to ask uh, how um, aging societies may respond uh, psychologically uh, in a different way to disasters than, than younger societies. Younger societies are often um, um, galvanized uh, uh, to action um, by crisis, whereas aging societies may despair. Japan has shown itself to be resilient after crisis after crisis, whether the Kobe earthquake or reinventing itself after World War II. A lot of people think that this presents them with an opportunity to reinvent themselves once again. How will aging impact that? Japan has uh, some notable advantages and some notable disadvantages. Even before uh, the disaster, it faces a long-term future uh, of economic stagnation, driven by the slowdown in workforce growth, in fact, the, the gathering contraction of its working age population, and also um, by an extraordinarily high public debt. Gross public debt in Japan is about twice the size of its economy, uh, the largest of any uh, developed nation. Um, in short, uh, Japan doesn't have the fiscal room to pay for recovery without uh, crowding out other priorities. So that's on, that's on the disadvantage side. On the advantage side, Japan does have a, a long historical proven capacity uh, for reinventing itself, sometimes in astonishing ways. It did that during the Meiji Restoration in the 19th century. It was the first non-Western country to modernize. It did it again um, after World War II. So if there's any aging society that can, that can manage a crisis like this and that can reinvent itself, uh, I'd put my money on Japan. Richard, thank you for your time. You're welcome.